this is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching a ring at a combined weight of 375 pounds, the team of Baron Black and Fuego Del Sol. Seen a lot of both men here on AEW Dark individually, but this is their first time as a pair. <laughs> People from Alabama, man, I'm telling you, it's something in the water. It has to be. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> Join the Dark Order. And their opponents from the keep. At a combined weight of 422 pounds, Stu Grayson and Evil Uno. The number five ranked tag team here in all Join elite wrestling. Order. Grayson and Uno representing Dark Order here tonight. I got, I got to ask you a question there, Ricky Starks, proud member of Team Taz. I never asked you this, I don't think Excalibur has either. What is your opinion of the Dark Order? As a Team Taz member, I'm curious, what's your thoughts on the Dark Order? I like them as a collective unit. I think they are uh, they are forced to be reckoned with. They can't they can't mess with us, obviously. No, but, you know they're there. Look at Coco Banner wearing the AEW shirt instead of wearing the you know uh, dark water colors. Yeah, he doesn't care. Well, well, he could visit uh, shopaew.com or he could visit aewgames.com yeah. to stay updated on everything game related from all elite wrestling. You subscribe now at all uh, AEW games. YouTube.com slash AEW Games. Follow us on social media. Stay updated on all the updates. Oh, look at, wow, Fuego Del Beautiful. Sol. Yeah, I got to email Kenny Omega or text him, give him my thoughts on the games. I know he's looking for them. I'm sure he's very interested in what you have to say. Deja vu by Fuego Del Sol. Wow. Where nope. can go, bro? He's, he's not just the master of the swing and DDT. He sure. can all some moves. Back in my day, I was doing that all the time, but he's not, not in your day. It is your day. Double R. He really put you on the spot, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well. Big Evil Uno. Grayson tags out. Evil Uno. Next, Cal, I have a question for you. Remember yes, sir. last week we had, uh, well, our friend Anthony Agogo was at the desk, was here, and he was talking about Baron Black. Yes. He mentioned. What was the nickname he said Baron Black whenever he's in a, a dojo? He calls him the H I C. No, he called him the H T I C. Explain to our friend Ricky Stocks what that is. What Baron Black called him himself. the head technician in charge. Well, he's never. What? <laughs> he's never seen me wrestle. Obviously. Cover here by Baron Black. Barely a one count. Head technician. Apparently, he said he can get out of any move at any time by anybody. And I'm sure he's. I don't know. He said something about the Rochambeau. I heard that. That's what Anthony said. So anyway, so uh, that's you know I don't know. He was just talking smack. Apparently, I don't know. He's so. trying to to start a rivalry between Anthony Agogo and Ricky Starks. No, they're both my. Are you friends. gonna break my heart, Taz? But no, I, I, you kidding me? No, of course not. Anthony's my friend, and, and Ricky Starks is like a second son to me. I got golden gloves too. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're going to leave it. Oh, ho, 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 big power slam by Stu Grayson. Yeah, great job by Grayson. You going for Christmas? It's the chain, actually. Listen. I got a, a diamond chain, but it's just Ricky, golden gloves. Listen, listen, Iced out. As a wrestler, just you don't want to throw hands with boxes. Just keep on the mat. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I know that, Taz. And I don't same. mind just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a boxer and seeing how it ends up. Hospital, no, maybe. I mind. You're, you're, you know, I have a lot of money invested in you. Please. I don't yeah, my fight. face is too you know, good to be broken. Go -go, exactly. Irish oh. whipping his own partner to the corner is Evil oh. Uno. High boot. And now Grayson. Oh, nice. Just a big clubbing shot across the chest of Fuego del Sol. Fuego del Sol is Fuego dead meat. <laughs> we're, man, we're too good with the nicknames for him. Who's we? Uh, me and you. Sorry, pronouns. I thought maybe you had a mouse in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I don't know. Bro, you got to bring your A-game here. This is not playtime. It's not amateur out here, son. No, this isn't open mic either, as Brandy would say. And I understand that. Ricky Starks, oh, a huge oh. fan of Stuart Little and his tiny Corvette. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, that poor kid's back. Evil Uno's just vicious. Vicious. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? What? What is right? That's exactly. right. Double boots by Uno. Oh. Russian leg sweep. 
and oh, oh, oh just oh, end it, just oh, end it right there. Oh my God. Fogo de Chao is getting messed up. Where's the head technician in charge? He's <laughs> not in charge. He's not very really. technically standing on the rope and uh, or standing on the apron, opting not to get in. He's smart, Baron Black. Fuego do Sol bringing that fight, showing heart. He Back. needs to hit the Tornado DDT. I'm Who's sorry, hit? Excalibur. <laughs> Fuego del Sol needs to hit the Tornado DDT. Tornado. I sound like you now. What? <laughs> I get excited. I'm too busy putting you over. That's the problem. I love you, man. Yeah. Grayson. Oh, okay. Grayson sends <laughs> it to the wing. <laughs> Fuego del Sol to the wing. He's just falling apart right here, right before this big match tomorrow night on Dynamite, where Hobbs. And Ricky Starks going to destroy Darby Allen, the new TNT champ, and Cody Rhodes. <laughs> That's uh, not quite a legal tag, but Baron Black couldn't be bothered to wow. wait. Baron Black's not playing around, looking good. He saw his partner on the receiving end of so much punishment. Was Baron up to here? Ooh. Uppercut, chop, double axe handle, drops Evil Uno. Good job, good job. Oh, Manhattan, or excuse me, Atomic drop. Oh, God. Back stabber. He's on fire. And Uno gets taken over the top and spills to the outside. Baron Black. Spinning clothesline. Exploder. Oh. Cover here. One, two. Ooh, just a one count. The Taz influence is felt every single time we show up on Dark or Dynamite. I just want you to know that. Get maybe everybody. There maybe is. HTIC stands for Had Taz in Charge. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You look him in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. I could have sworn out. You know what? Exactly. Well, what? Oh, what the? Baron Black uh, falls victim to that neck breaker. And now Fuego del Sol. Fuego! Oh, oh he buckled his ankle, I think. Maybe not. Evil Uno went for the swing. He missed. And <gasps> Tornado. Oh, <sighs> no. The D oh, big right hand drops Fuego del Sol. Fuego del Sol is like a damn heavy bag in this match. Ooh. And a meeting of the minds there. Baron uh -oh. Black on the shoulders of Grayson on the outside. Oh, the nightfall! He did. <laughs> Ricky Starks with the expert oh. analysis as Ewell Uno flattens Fuego Del Sol, hooks the near leg. That is it. Join the Dark Order. Stu Grayson and Evil Uno. That's why they're probably, like I've stated many times, they're probably my, two of my favorite members of the Dark Order, these two athletes here, Grayson and Evil Uno. Evil Uno's underrated for his offense, his intensity, his physicality. Grayson is a ring gentleman, we know that. He certainly is, and together this team of Grayson and Uno ranked number five. But if they continue to pile up victories like this, Taz, they are going to climb sooner than later. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I mean, they definitely could get to the uh, proverbial promised land in the world of tag team championships here in AEW. For sure, these two athletes can get it done.